the I got the the lengths figured out, stuff like that. Um, I'm going to point one of the things I need to do is to I want to go ahead and match these angles a little closer. I uh, straightened this one out, straightened it out a little too far, and you know I only have like ten of these to bend and ten of these to bend. Um, so that's not enough for me to go building, you know, dies and stuff like that to to be able to, you know, stamp it more or less in the in the press. But I do need a way to get it fairly close and predictable. So uh, I'm using this. I, I just laid it on here, got it close. You don't even need to. You can just come in here and uh, hold it up against this, and then pick uh, pick the line you want. And I'm just going to transfer this angle here because it really doesn't matter what the angle is. Okay. So I want this to match that. Yeah, that's pretty close. So after I bend one and, and fit it, I'll, uh, I'll have a better idea. So basically what I'm doing is um, I'm creating a wire gauge. I'm just going to put this on here. And, and I could go to either side. And by doing that, then I can see exactly when I'm parallel with the uh, other line there. And if I do that, then I'm going to want to turn it over. Um, what I did was, uh, I came up with this idea the other day, and basically I took a, a one that I had bent to the right angle, set it in there, and slid a dowel underneath it that still had, you know, roughly an uh, eighth of an inch, 330 seconds. Uh, clearance under it so that way I could get that spring back, you know, that overbend. And I've got another one here for the uh, the other. Uh, but basically I'm just going to uh, see if I can't line uh, line a few of these up and uh, uh, get them bent. Oops. And then I just watch until it uh, touches. Because I don't really want it to make... Uh so that angle should... Uh Should work. I should probably double check it, but uh, you know, a, a bending jig would be nice because then uh, I could get them lined up more accurately and quicker and more predictably. But and I don't. Uh, I don't want to touch down too hard or I'm going to end up leaving a big dent right there. So, there you can see, you know, that's that's pretty dang uh, even from one to the next. So, let's do the shallow bend here. And I brought the, the wire over this time to uh, compare it to. All right. Touched it down. Okay. Bent a little much there as well. Um, pretty similar to the overbend on the other. Not quite as perfect as uh, the last stack, but uh, close enough. 